Welcome back to another video guys. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Bitcoin price and you're probably wondering why I'm on a balcony right now. Well, I'm still currently in beautiful Thailand where we are experiencing some lovely rain, unlike Dubai. However, we're going to check what Bitcoin could do if it potentially clears this one price. And also we're going to be looking at Ethereum's bearish trend and whether we're going to see that slip under a K. And also we're going to be looking at some news articles from newsbtc.com. So guys, you don't want to miss this video and I'll see you there. Thank you for joining me once again, guys. If you are new to the channel, a massive, massive welcome. Go ahead, hit that like, subscribe, and tick that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. But before we go on with this video, guys, let's check out coin market cap and what the current market is doing. What we can see, guys, is that over the last seven days, we're still experiencing red, guys, and only in the last 24 hours are we seeing some kind of price squeeze here. You can see that majority of markets are in red, opposed to those stable coins like DAI, BUSD, trying to maintain their peg. In this case, it's not UST. They are maintaining their peg quite nicely. So guys, let's now jump onto some news about the Bitcoin price and explore what could potentially happen if we break this particular level. Okay, so over to newsbtc.com for some news updates on the Bitcoin price. We can see that Bitcoin is trading in a bearish zone below 19,500 against the US dollar. However, guys, Bitcoin might start a sharp recovery wave if there is a move above the 19,000 $500 resistance level. We can see that Bitcoin failed to gain pace above the 19,500 level of resistance we're talking about and its 19,600 level of resistance counterpart. The price is now trading below the $20,000 level as we all know and lots of us are probably accumulating our Satoshis right now. And also guys, what's really bearish is the 100 hourly simple moving average which we are going to to dive into shortly. Bitcoin price eyes upside break. Yes, Bitcoin price started another decline below that $19,500 resistance level because it was previously support. And when it flips it, it becomes resistance. Okay, so let's jump onto the charts guys and take a look. Previously with the Bitcoin price, we did jump into this descending triangle here. We found bottoms along here, confirming that we were in a descending triangle right here. We measured, well, I had a measurement of my predicted uh, breakdown. It did break down into this crucial level of support here between 18,800 to its low of 18,600 as well, guys. But what I've done here is as we can know, when you extend your trend lines, they act as resistance. In this case, when the price is below that top descending trend line in this descending triangle but now it's overextended and you can see that we have bounced from this level of support this key level and have flipped this trend line what we can see here guys is we had once we broke down from this descending triangle we had further touches of this trend line confirming that it is still in play and this is why it is so important to extend your trend lines what we can see there guys is we are rejecting or we did reject from this crucial level at 19,500 on the hourly guys after that we fell back onto this extended trend line which was once that top trend line of that descending triangle and have found support so far guys so for the bitcoin price ideally what is crucial is that we clear this nineteen thousand five hundred dollar mark and we can start looking for other levels of support and resistance like its further level would be at around nineteen thousand nine hundred or around about twenty thousand dollars as you can see previously at this level guys we have touched it multiple times confirming that yes this was a nice level of support despite the massive downpour we just had so for future eyes we are ideally looking to break 19.5 now if we do break 19,500 with a confirmation candle i may look at entering a long position guys with a very tight stop loss to that next level of about 19,900 which as you can see as i previously mentioned was a nice level of support and should act as a decent level of resistance should the bears have enough power to keep the price down you can see not a bad risk to reward ratio i'm ideally eyeing this out for the Bitcoin price. Now, if we have a look at a few indicators, guys, I'm going to bring out some moving averages. And with this, we have four. We have the 20 in blue. We have the 100 in yellow. What's bearish right now, guys, if we look back on the price, the Bitcoin price has rejected from this 100 period moving average on the hourly. It has also failed 
to confirm a break above this 100 period moving average here, rejecting once again and also from this crucial level of resistance at 19,500 and is currently trading below all moving averages on the hourly chart. So for me guys, I'm ideally looking for this break above 19,500. Bitcoin, it is crucial to break above it and there may be a nice trade for me to take above this level as well. As an alternative guys, the price may continue to reject from these moving averages and fall back into this big level of support where this could be a nice opportunity for accumulation for Bitcoin. Again guys, if we wanna make note of these moving averages on the hourly, we can see that we are starting to see a bit of a convergence with these three moving averages, the 20, the 50 and the 100, the blue, green, and yellow. If we look back on the price as well, we have a little bit of a convergence here. And if we further look back as well, we have a big convergence here. This a convergence is where all the moving averages are coming together. This is also known as a whipsaw event and it gives rise to price moving very rapidly. So what we could see guys is we could see a, confer a further squeeze of the Bitcoin price and more of a convergence with the moving averages before we see a sharp increase or decrease with the Bitcoin price. Ideally, I wanna see it clear 19,500. So guys, next we're gonna go explore Ethereum. Another article from newsbtc.com. Ethereum is struggling below $1,080 against the US dollar, Ethereum could decline heavily if there is a close below the $1,000 support zone. Ethereum has remained in a bearish zone below $1,100 and $1,080 respectively. The price is now trading below $1,100 and the hourly simple moving average. So onto the price charts with Ethereum guys, what we can see it is trading a zone now for around about three days and seven or eight hours and it is trading a zone of around about 3.3 percent now guys what we have here is we have a nice level of support at around 1050 and our next level of resistance at around about 1070 to about 1090 guys so not a bad trading range as well if we take a look at the moving averages to get a bit of an idea we can see that on the hourly yes we are having another convergence here we have the 20 period leading but once again we have a clear confirmation candle below that of the 100 period moving in yellow that is bearish for the ethereum price as we have a confirmation candle under that 100 period moving average on the hourly if we fail to bounce from this level of support as we have for the last three days guys it could be extremely bearish for ethereum and we could see a further decrease to this level at around about one thousand dollars and that is a negative of four percent so what's next for the move of ethereum well what we can see guys is yes we have been trading this range where we have been finding resistance right here as mentioned and also lots of touches for support as you can see right here so ideally what i'm looking for as the macd continues and the histogram continues to taper off into the negative. If we do have a confirmation candle under this level of support and the bulls can't keep the price above 1,050, we may see a further decrease of the Ethereum price to around about $1,000 if we can maintain these last two touches or this neat little double bottom on the hourly at around about 1,000. If Ethereum falls below 1,000, guys, it isn't going to be good at all. However, if we do confirm a bounce from this, I'll be looking at entering a long position off of this level of support. If that MACD can show that there is going to be some bullishness in the histogram as well, and perhaps a bullish cross. Ideally, if we do have this bounce, guys, I will be setting multiple take profit targets, one of which I'll be having a nice start, tight stop loss. My first take profit target will be at just under this level of resistance in the event that we have a early rejection at about a 6.18 risk to reward ratio. And then if we can continue to clear this level of resistance, I will set a second take profit target here at about 10.7 risk to reward ratio. And my top will be right here at around 1,120. So guys, for the Ethereum price, yes, we are experiencing some kind of convergence of the moving averages. Yes, a convergence of the moving averages are referred to as a whipsaw. We know that that gives rise to fast price movement, which follows that. So for Ethereum, guys, it must maintain above this level of support at 1,050, guys. That is absolutely crucial. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. It's just a small update on the Bitcoin and Ethereum price. If you are interested in these kind of videos, go ahead. Make sure you've hit the like, subscribe, tick that notification bell, leave a comment below. But until then, I'll see you in the next video.